The leaders of Armenia and Azerbaijan have agreed to meet in Brussels next week to begin new peace talks over the disputed region of Nagorno-Karabakh. Both leaders met with President Putin in January to maintain a peace deal brokered by Russia in 2020. With Russia's military bogged down in Ukraine, observers say Azerbaijan has now sensed an opportunity. Both Russia and Armenia say Azeri forces crossed over into an area controlled by Russian peacekeepers last week and seized the strategic village of Paruk. In the nearby village of Kramort, Euronews talked to one ethnic Armenian woman who'd fled Paruk. The enemy came and tried to enter our village. First they called on us to leave the area via loudspeakers saying, you're in the territory of Azerbaijan. If you think about the lives of your children, obey our laws, leave this territory. Now other ethnic Armenians worry about the Russian forces' ability to maintain the ceasefire. And reports suggest some of the Russian peacekeepers have left for Ukraine. Moscow denies this and says it's taking steps to reduce the tensions. The six-week conflict in 2020 killed thousands of people and saw Azerbaijan gain control of parts of Nagorno-Karabakh. The region is recognized internationally as Azerbaijani but since 1994 it's been run by ethnic Armenians. Now, with Russia's willingness or ability to keep the peace in doubt, many fear for the future. Only God knows what these people saw during the 2020 war. Well, if no one cares about us now, there must be someone to think about us to pity these people. Armenia does appear quite isolated, regionally at least. Azerbaijan can count on Turkey as a close ally, but Armenia and Turkey have deeply distrusted each other for decades and their border remains closed. Now the EU will try to achieve peace in the region in next week's talks.